welcome to the series of data, relational database management system myself is fatima rafiq assistant professor abeda ramda senior college bca department today we will be starting with a new topic that is chapter number 5 crash recovery in crash recovery we will be covering these many topics that is failure classification transaction failure system crash disk failure and recovery in automaticity that is log based recovery deferred database modification immediate database modification and checkpoints now what is crash recovery a crash is the sudden failure of a software application or operating system or the hardware device such as a hard disk whenever we are tra- running a transaction we know that a transaction require multiple things it require operating system to be execution it requires some hardware devices like hard disk for taking the information and storing back the information again so what is the crash recovery what is a crash it is a sudden failure of any software application or a operating system or a hardware device such as a hard disk recovery means restoring the data into its previous state before the failure like consider transaction is running the transaction is running and the transaction runs half of the part and sudden the crash which is occur in the system so we need to recover from the crash we need to what is the recovery so recovery means restoring the data into its previous position previous state before its failure recovery is required to protect the database from the data inconsistency and the data loss whenever there is a crash it leads to the data in incon- inconsistency and data is lost the data is not available so in the recovery method what we uh, need to do we need to protect the data from the database that did uh, for protect the database so the data should not be inconsistent and the loss of data which is happening during the crash recovery will be recover again crash recovery is a process by which a database is moved back to the consistent and stable state if a crash is happen the next thing is recovery so the crash recovery is what it is a process by which the database is moved back to the consistent and stable state like it has to be available all the time and the data which is present in the uh, system is uh, stable it is a consistent state this is done by rolling back incomplete transaction and complete completing committed transaction that was still in the memory when the crash occurred there may be a two situation when the transaction is running at that time if a crash uh, is happen or because of any reason if system is crash those situ- two situation will be there either the transaction is incomplete or transaction is completed if the transaction is incomplete we will roll back it means we will remove all its effect if the transaction is complete and it is committed then the transa- the effect of transaction has to be permanently save in the database so these are two things that we will do in the crash recovery now we will say we will see the transaction failure classification failure uh, whenever there is a failure in the transaction that failure will happen because of any reason so these are some uh, transaction failure classification number 1 transaction failure reason for the transaction failure either the system has a error or it is a logical error when system enter into into the undesirable state transaction cannot continue its normal execution the transaction however can be re execute at the later time like for example when we consider the deadlock situation deadlock is a situation where every transaction is waiting for the another transaction and no transaction is uh, in the Uh, is able to progress at that time uh, the system is having an error because of that we are not able to execute the transaction we need to re execute it re execute the transaction for the later time next is logical error the transaction can no longer continue its normal execution because of some internal condition such as the data which the transaction require is not found or because of the bad input the input which is given by the user is not correct or the resource limit is overflow or it exceeds so because of these reasons the transaction can also fail so this is a reason which is called logical error then we have a system crash there is a soft hardware bug or a inter or a error in the database software or the operating system that caused the loss of the content of the volatile storage and leads the transaction processing to the halt we know that whenever the transaction is running the transaction is actually running in the main memory and whatever data we require is actually stored on the secondary device or the permanent storage that is called 
uh, storage which is uh, uh, the storage which is permanent so once uh, the transaction is actually running if it finds any hardware error or any, any error or the software itself is having any error because of that the loss of data there is a loss of data in the content of vol uh, volatile storage that leads to the system crash the content of known volatile storage remain undamaged and it's it is not um, corrupted like for example if you consider the main memory if one program one transaction is running and the transaction is in, in between and because of any error system error or hardware failure or because of any undesirable condition if system is crashed so the uh, data which is present in the main memory will lost but the data which is present in the secondary memory in the uh, device like hard disk or in the device like pen drive or the device like a server so these data are the non volatile uh, data non volatile storage which remain undamaged then we have the another type of failure which is a disk failure some disk block may lose their data because of the disk read write head crash whenever the disk is re whenever we are reading the data from a disk we know that a disk uh, has a read and write head so we need to uh, there is a uh, whenever we want to read the data from a uh, read and write head if the read and write it head itself crash at the time this is uh, this is nothing but a disk failure we can use the copy of a data on the other disks to recover from the failure so whatever data you have on the disk you how you can recover you can uh, copy that same data in another disk and then by using the disk read write head you can use that data the next type of failure is network error network error also can result in the failure of online transaction like for example in these days whenever we are performing a transaction because of the network if you lost your network so your transaction is actually processed and after some time the system the network goes down so because of that the transaction is not able to complete so transaction has to cancel and then restart uh, its execution whenever if the user wants then it it's, it starts its execution again so these are some failure uh, classification uh, because of that transaction may fail i hope this is clear to you if you find any difficulty write in the comment box thank you